Good morning. Today I want to do a little review of my uh, newest bag I got. Um, this is a Cortland bag. I made this into my uh, everyday carry type of bag. Uh, I don't know how many bags I went through looking for different ones, but this is a start. I've only had this uh, maybe three, four days, but I wanted to sh do a quick review and show you is what I have. Um, part of what I like about this bag is the setup because it has extra attachments here on the back. Um, on the front, there's extra spots where you can attach stuff. Another sh uh, spot here on the sides here, there's stretch loops that you could use uh, to attach stuff also, along with a small pouch in the front which I put my uh, earbuds for my cell phone in there when you open this inward pouch uh, you will see uh, I'm using this as parts for my phone it's an extra cable two cables for charging stuff this is my uh, iPhone charger along with a battery bank charger um, Nothing real fancy, but it's basics, uh, enough that I could get by uh, for a little bit of time. Once I open the inner part, you'll see I carry a glass for my glasses to uh, wipe them. Uh, an extra pair of glasses I keep in here. Um, writing instruments I keep in here, different types of pen. I also keep a Sharpie in my bag. Uh, the idea behind a Sharpie is... Uh, if I had to do rapid triage, I could always uh, mark on people what class I think they are, or um, if I'm using a tourniquet, I can mark it on the time it's given. I keep a small pocket knife. Uh, it's nothing fancy, but it's enough that I could use it for whatever needs I would have. Uh, also in here, I keep my daily med pouch for my prescription meds giving me a full seven days um, also in here one of the weird things I carry and people may think I'm a weirdo is a little uh, play pack for kids uh, there's two different types in here they're like an activity pack along with the crayons um, and the crayons can have multi-function they can use them or if need be um, I have not tried it some people say that the uh, crayons will burn so you can use that as a fire tender if you had to. Also in here, I keep a uh, sport type thing, something to eat if I needed to. A lot of times you'll be able to find stuff and may not have access to it. Uh, another pack of crayons for fire start tinder. Uh, in here is a little uh, survival kit. Probably not the best. Don't know if it would work, but I do have it. It includes matches, some uh, safety pins, um, two sewing needles, uh, fishing line, two sinkers, two hooks, a little uh, hand cable saw. And what I've seen with those is instead of um, trying to use that as a hand saw, I would get a stick and bend the stick and make it like a bow saw which would allow it to uh, hopefully work better. Um, someday maybe I'll mess with it and try it and see what happens, but this is a real basic uh, mini survival kit with some matches and stuff in it. Um, another tool I carry, a lighter. Um, sharpening stone for a knife. A mini tool. Um, Small pair of pliers, probably a small knife, stuff like that on there if I would need it. Um, nothing real crazy. Uh, one of the bigger items I like to carry too is a, uh, which works best in this bag, is a SWAT T tourniquet. Only because it's small, if it's in the bottom, it doesn't take up a lot of room. Uh, but it is a tourniquet if I needed it. And then another thing I carry. Uh, is a little fold out shove knife probably not the best but I could use it for something I'm sure um, make a tool or whatever if I needed to in this little pouch I keep a lot of stuff uh, 
from my first aid stuff in here. Uh, I have earplugs. I have uh, a thermometer. All the different types of meds from Advil to Motrin to Pepto to a pair of uh, cheap scissors. Um, I also threw in here a uh, blister kit. On the far side, I keep uh, bath, visine eye drops, uh, saline, Blistex, uh, emergency survival blanket, um, band aids, um, some other various meds. Um, nothing real fancy, but I feel this would uh, work pretty well. Uh, for me, uh, especially when I'm carrying it on my everyday stuff. Uh, this is above my EDC bag for work and also my bug out bag that I have. Um, like I said, it's nothing fancy. I'll probably be adding more to it. Um, like a, um, my glucometer, once I figure out how to use it, I may add some other things to it, but um, still a work in progress. But I figured I'd share it with you. Um, this was a little pricey. It was, uh, I think it was $24 at Walmart. But I think it was worth it because I can do a various different setups. Including um, making it so I can hang it from my belt uh, if I needed to. Stuff like that. Um, but it's made so I can add it to another bag clip and onto a bag uh, to build out that bag. Uh, but I think it's a pretty nice little setup. Uh, if you look inside, they do have two additional compartments on either side, which I do use. And I thought that was pretty cool. So uh, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, ideas, stuff like this. Uh, remember, um, I'm very limited on what I can carry. Um, one, I do have a seven-year-old child, so me carrying a firearm, um, especially with my work career, working on a paramedic truck doesn't normally happen. Um, so I keep very limited type of stuff with me. Um, the SWAT T tourniquet, I added to it uh, only because uh, SWAT T, I can use this on a child. The SWAT T can also be used on uh, animals. Uh, where your some of your cat tourniquets, some of your other tourniquets, you gotta watch. Um, you're limited on how tight it'll go. Uh, a lot of tourniquets won't go below five inch round areas to uh, be used, so you gotta watch that too. So just figured I'd share it. Uh, like I said, let me know what you think. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna try to do some more videos. Um, a little bit of maybe uh, talks on some first aid stuff uh, or the use of tourniquets sh and shock and uh, some of my thoughts on that. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to share them with you and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching and hopefully you have a great day.